especially a character like Game Watch, who is a very, very light character. Top five lightest, I believe. So you can kind of just use that giant punch at fifty percent at legends. Like, oh, GG, shake my hand. It's kind of <laughs> how it goes. Man, Chunky Kong, you know, there's, there's a lot of GG shake my hand moments, Chunky Kong. Like, there's times oh, you'll have yeah. him at like 180%, and he pulls off like one little thing. You're like, what? I died? And he's just He'll there. He'll grab you on PS2. It's like, ah, got him. Actually, that did happen in the last set, and we might see that happen again here on PS2. It was actually both of these players there. PS2, he got the uh, ding dong there at 54%. That was all it took. And then Reggie yeah. immediately was like, you know what? Let's go town city. Yeah, that's the Chunky Kong. That's just kind of that's kind of what he does. That being said, though, I don't believe the last set was best of five, or this one will be. We're gonna be going all yep. the way with this one, uh, so exactly. maybe it's a little different uh, once you have that full five games to really adapt. I mean, that's always going to be a key factor. That's why a lot of, like, you know, top players, they prefer a lot of best of five sets because sometimes, you know, that key of adaptation is so important. And, you know, sometimes you feel like you just were able, if you just had one more game, you might be able to do something with it. Uh, that's how we've seen a lot of, like, reverse 3-0s happen uh, in the past. Right now, though, Junkie Kong is going to be able to have that opportunity here. But Reggie still off to a great start. But as I say, that's going to be the clap clap here. Up smash taken away here on that first stock. Coming out with the Wii will rock you. Taking that first stock, <laughs> and uh, there we go for Chunky Kong. And one thing that you're talking about adaptation, Chunky Kong is absolutely one of the best in the online scene at that, at adapting, which is crazy with a character like Chunky Kong, you know, very linear op linear options, but so good at adapting. We're going to get taken off the top of the key. Uh, Reggie's going to be able to even it up here. Uh, you know, very good to not let Chunky Kong get advantage, because that is a, that's a runaway trade wave to happen. Oh, you know it. I mean, if you just give him a little room to breathe, all of a sudden you, you start to be at 70% and you, you eat a donkey punch and it's over, right? So, uh, it, it's just make a little mistakes here with Chunky Kong and he will exploit it just like that, but he's not going to find up here here to follow through with that one. There comes a nice little grounded up B looking to kind of scoop it up and take away that stock. That would have actually done the trick, but luckily Reggie was able to get out of that. Oh, no. They're like, yeah. yo, watch my animation here, sir. Boom. Chunky Kong's like, that yeah, sure, really, I got one too. That was really bizarre there, Reggie. He had the down smash, and he was spaced properly, so, you know, Chunky Kong couldn't have really much him, I don't think. But then he, like, did a, he did a slight microspace walk in. And because of that, he got caught. And that was... Strange option for Reggie. I would be yeah. honest with you. It was. I think. It, yeah, he was trying to just look for uh, Chunky Kong to kind of reach in there. You know, you could you could exploit those uh, hit boxes, right? So I think he was looking for that. And boom! Oh my God! Not gonna get the kill, but my God, that sauce I was, was about super those nice. Punches, man. I was talking about them for good reason. That uppy is gonna, you know, one oh. more. Oh, or just gonna Stop. hit him with that foot. Get out of here. That's gonna take the uh, sock game. Um, that's gonna be a nice, strong two sock coming after Chunky Kong to. To begin off this loser semi set. Jeez. Oh my god, Chunky Kong. The secret sauce in the back, man. I don't know what happened. He just went here in the locker rooms like, yo, yo, I need some of that. And just comes out here looking amazing. My god. Making Reggie look like they're in a disadvantage. Uh, this is such a reverse of what we saw there in the last set. Hopefully, he can carry on this momentum here in the rest of this set here. Uh, but Reggie, we know what he can do on counter picks if Town and City is going to be selected. Oh, here it comes. There's that. There's that little motion we were yeah. talking about. Oh my he, god. He just he down smashes and then just moves ever so slightly in. And you know, Hong Kong, maybe he would have hit him without it, but he hit him with just at the tips of it. But, you know, it's such a great thing. Like, a lot of top players will mention this where they say, you know, walking is so underutilized in Smash. And it really is. Because once you start to master, you start to, you're able to space yourself a lot better. And that's one of those references there, you know, about the uh, FGC and your Twitter handle kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's where it comes with footsies, right? That That's where it comes from. It's from the uh, video, video game, uh, sorry, fighting game community. And we're seeing that there exploited in the last game. And Chucky Kong's off already here on this good start with 45%. Yeah. He's also, he's using F Smash way more today. There's a couple of sets I've seen from this one and, you know, the previous one against Reggie, actually. He's using it way more than I've ever seen him use. Um, you know, it's good for catching those options horizontally, but if Reggie catches on to it, he can just bait and punish that so easily, especially with a character like Game Watch. Gonna get hit with the up, you know, that's gonna take it. 
59%, yeah, sure. GG, shake my hand, as you Yo, said. Oh, man, you know, it just be like that sometimes, especially with a character like Don Kong. You know, heavies in general, that's how it be. No matter what fighting game you're in, heavies, you get that one moment in there, and that's their one time to shine, and then we'll go off of it. Uh, but it's just so painful to see each and every time here. Reggie put in so much work on that first stock. Oh, luckily getting out of that situation, but barely. It seems like, like I was saying, it seems like that S-Match is something he had to his toolkit. Is that going to be another? 50% on ledge again. You know, full rage. I guess it's not surprising, but <laughs> it's it's rough here if you're ready. You put on just about the same percentage as Chuggy County is, but you're down three socks to one. That's <laughs> true, it really do be like that, but finally able to go ahead here, get that nice little back here, get that stock that, that uh, Reggie was looking for. I mean, of course, it, morale, you gotta keep that composure though going, and he's doing a fantastic job, still sticking to that battle, but wow, that questionable up out of uh, Perfect Parry. I mean, I can't believe that, that actually reached that far. Yikes. Yeah. You know, Chungun's no. just facing out. No. Oh. Oh, okay, goes. He was looking for that uh, that DI read in, but you know, actually doesn't get it there. Uh, so good, good stuff for Reggie to be able to find the uh, correct DI to get out of it. But you know, it's looking really rough right now. Getting one stock off Chunk and Kong is going to be difficult. You know, DK's heavy, but all Chunk Kong is just such an explosive player. Getting two is going to be near impossible. All right, we're going to see, I know, 103%, 116, it's not looking too good. It's not looking too good. I don't know for Reggie here, trying to obviously yeah. keep in there. I would utilize the rest of this. Oh, as I say that, it's going to eat the toes. But I was going to say that uh, you want to utilize those last moments there to at least try to uh, anal uh, analyze his gameplay a little bit here to try and make some adjustments to go in there in game uh, three. But now down 2-0. Now it's not over. We did see what Midnight was able to do in winner's finals. Might be possible here to try to bring this one back. Yeah, uh, we'll see if they can uh, make it happen, but Game Watch is one of those characters that can really punish you if you miss space things. Chunky Kong decides he will simply not miss space things. <laughs> that, is, that is his counterplay. He's just like, man, have you seen my back here? Like, how can I misplace this? And he's just been and, doing a great job of yeah, that. Yeah, it's just... Uh, it's gonna take a hell of a change of Reggie. I'd like to see him switch off this PS2. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely had a lot of success off that in the last time around. So I don't know why it was, it was very, uh, you know, kind of like, I don't want to say stubborn about it, but just decided to stick to this. But here we go. Looks like game three is a pause. It's going to be the plant to come out once more. And we did see Reggie pull this out uh, in winner's finals there up against Midnight. It was doing a pretty fantastic job. So hopefully this time can repeat the success. And I feel like, I mean, all those game watch was able to put in that pain there in their last set there in pools. I'm, I don't know why it's not working as much now, but Plant could do it. Possible. Yeah, Plant could definitely do it. Uh, Game Watch is a character that, you know, has a lot of safe options, but also really sometimes needs to scrap to you, at least a little bit. Plant can just play his own game. <laughs> yeah, not to mention he's kind of heavy too, man. No, that, that that pot's kind of crazy. I don't know what's in there. Oh, yeah. Definitely some crack. Uh, <laughs> either way, gonna make it a ledge real quick. He's on crack right now with that down smash. Yo, that's what's, that's what's nourishing the plant, dude. That's why it's like this, man. That's what's in there. That's the secret sauce. So we're going to see the hair pull off. Sauce, <laughs> it's got 114% though. I mean, so it's definitely getting high up there. But, you know, if this was Game & Watch, even one toe would have already done the trick. And we see Game & Watch die at 50-something percent so many times. But for Air Dodge, though, will be enough here to get back onto the stage. Yeah, I mean, it's plant. It doesn't It doesn't matter. <laughs> You're still going to be able to get back. Putting on so much hurt here at ledge, uh, especially with that Fatui. Yeah, Chunky Kong is just not ready for it. He was, oh! And another, another crucial smash attack. Can go There's a plant the here, guys. In top eight. Man, so real. This is high, no? Can, oh, definitely. But I just want to talk about how ridiculous plants jab looks. <laughs> 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 That's what I want to talk about. I mean, I don't even know what it's hitting you with. Like, I guess it's the leaves. Yeah, I don't even know. But leaf real quick. Going <laughs> with the poison cloud, looking for the huge read here. Oh, I love the maneuvering right there to get back into mid of the stage. Back here, though, will be enough here to secure that stock. We're not going to see the tree here in top eight. I mean, at this, when you're this far in the bracket, you definitely don't want to get treed on, right? That, that, that can't happen, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that certainly, hurts. certainly not. Um, yeah, we'll see what... We'll see if Reggie can finish this one off. Um, I think what happened was Shinkan was getting used to just trying to space around game and watch. Uh, and if you can do that, you know, you can get some character relatively easily. But... The thing is, Reggie doesn't really have to worry about spacing anymore. Oh! 
What kind of game? That little, that nice little conversion and the down air. I mean, sorry, back air. Now, see, this is the thing. If Reggie was playing Game of Watch, you think you'd come back from that? He would have died Absolutely. like three hits ago. He would have died like three hits ago. And he gets the kill too. So, you know, I think Reggie here onto something. That's a very dominant two stock performance. Now, of course, if Chunky Kong had more time, uh, didn't eat that back air, probably could have tried to bring it back here to last stop. But man, Reggie was not planning to let that one go. Yeah, it was just, I think the thing I was mentioning is Game Watch is a character, you know, it's space and based. If people have bad spacing, you mess them up. If people have good spacing, you have to get a little creative. Um, but with Plant, it's an zoner type archetype. You don't have to worry about spacing in close quarters combat nearly as much. Um, you can just kind of throw out these projectiles and get these trap setups going. Um, and Reggie really excelled. Chunky Kong was not ready for that. You know, it was definitely in a scrap kind of mindset. Um, Will, I'm assuming we're still in the same plant. There's no way in hell we get something else. Um, so I wonder what the Sage Counter Fix is going to be, if there is one, and how Shining Town can really adjust his game plan. Yeah, I would say, I would say, like, I don't think we're going to see a character, I mean, stage change. I'd be surprised if we do, because it's Chunky Kong's pick, and he's been doing such a phenomenal job on PS2. But hey, you yeah. never know. I think at the moment, it's pretty much what you just said. Oh, we are going to see it. We're going to be heading here to, to a battlefield. I'm um, quite surprised at this one, but I think the point of this is because I, if Plant has a flat stage, they're able to kind of maneuver around it, get their setups going a lot more effectively, such as like the Batui, uh, any of the poison. So uh, that could be the pick for this. What do you think? I think that it is, I don't know. I think it's an okay counter pick. I just think it's risky to give any zoner type character a platform to camp underneath. Cause you know, there's two types of zoners. So there's ones that are trying to set up, and there's ones that just want to play camp. Plant does both. So like, I don't think this is. I don't think this is really bad to play it anyway. What? Okay. You know what? You don't. That's that works regardless of the stage. Gonna get the we will rock you once again. Damn right it will. Oh uh, man. So he's gonna go ahead here. One thirty-seven percent though. Already gonna roll straight in there. Not gonna be getting a kill throw just yet. But man, Apatui has been so dangerous throughout this whole time. That was the opportunity, but Reggie just did not have any more time here to move in quick, uh, quickly enough to get that down smash. Yeah, I guess it was three dash attack. We're gonna get an up throw here. Not gonna kill on DK. You know, big big boy, but. You know, the next one, I don't know. Either way, it puts Duncan Kong in the disadvantage, which is somewhere he does not want to be, but gonna keep Reggie in the disadvantage oh now. This is up smashes one after another. Oh, that was brutal here for Reggie. Already at such a ridiculous deficit on the second stock triple digit percent. And it's gonna go bye bye right here with Chunky Kong going ahead with a three stock to one lead and game four just needing this one victory here to move on to the losers finals. Yeah, Reggie's just um, and getting anti-aired so effectively by Chunky Kong. Uh, anytime he tries to get these aerials to start getting some stuff, he can't. And anytime he tries to set up camp, he's getting stuffed out. Uh, as I say that, though, um, gonna get that first stock at least, you know, not getting the tree. Mm, like the little, that, man, is it a down B? I think it is, right? That down B just always makes me laugh. And it, it's just so great to see it hit. And luck there, Reggie. Barely getting out of the range of that. I mean, I guess it's like right inside uh, into Donkey Kong, so we're not going to get hit. But 72%, you know, plant is pretty heavy. Going to live this for sure, no problem. But if I see any more damage on this, it might be a scary situation as I see it. It don't matter. It's going to be once again Chunky Kong dunking his opponent, moving on to Losers Finals where Midnight awaits. Yeah, it's not even... That one didn't even look like it was a two frame. It looked like he just hit way below the ledge. And because of Plant's recovery, you kind of have to angle it into the stage to avoid getting hit by that. And at least give yourself an opportunity to tech. Or if you try going straight up, you're just going to get punished. Um, you can probably see it right here. The donk here comes. Yeah, see, he wasn't even, he didn't even touch ledge at that point. Uh, he just went straight up into ledge instead of angling it. Because of that, he got caught. That's going to be a 3-1 victory coming off of Junkie Kong. Uh, he's going to go on to play Midnight in this Losers Finals to have a chance to take out Kiarash, who's been on a tear, as you've been saying. Uh, Kiarash definitely here, uh, looking like a big contender. Now, oh, how how classic would it be if Chunky Kong makes the Grand? <laughs> it's going to be one of I, those I, again. As soon as I saw Chunky Kong lose semis, that was the first thought in my head. I'm like, this is going to happen, right? Like, there's no <laughs> way this doesn't happen, right? <laughs> time and time again with those two. Just, no matter what, man, they're always going to find a way here to go against each other in any tournament I bracket. Mean, it's just such